अच्छा so you remember that we did sentence level error and we actually talked about two of them so that was run on and fragments right and we did a little bit of review yesterday so there are there is another kind of mistake we do that is the misplaced modifier now what is a modifier <coughs> what do you uh, understand by modifier it's just what you understand by the word modifier i don't need a definition it, i just want your understanding to perfect or uh, build something so modifier is something that modifies another word right word modify or giving some character character giving a character so this can be an adverb this can be an adjective as well isn't it so sometimes we do a mistake that is misplacing the modifier because if you misplace or if you actually change the place of a modifier the sentence meaning can change so a word across a phrase that is misplaced or that is actually put in a uh, wrong place we call a misplaced modifier modifier that is the misplaced modifier right and usually what happens is if you actually change the place of the modifier you cannot express the meaning you are trying to express the meaning can actually change so the sentence structure will not change it will be still a correct structure of sentence but the meaning you are trying to convey is going to change so after structure to think about whatever structure you're trying to write with your subject is fine your verb is fine construction is fine but the meaning won't be same right meaning will change so how so let's see some examples so sam screamed at the barking dog in his collection underwear so it says Sam screamed at the barking dog in his underwear. So in his underwear, underwear is the modifier here. Now what does the sentence mean here? A sentence or meaning to be what? Underwear, sweatpants, anything. So, what do you think the sentence is trying to convey? So, if you look at this sentence, it looks like that the dog is in his underwear, isn't it? So, can the dog has underwear? They can't, right? So, the modifier here, which is his underwear. So, in his underwear, the modifier is misplaced. Isn't it? Because it shouldn't be with the dog. Because if you the dog in the that will mean that the dog is wearing the underwear. But can a dog actually wear underwear? No. So where should this go? With Sam. So this modifier is modifying Sam, right? It's not modifying screen. That's our verb here. So it is modifying the word Sam. That's our noun or that's the person we have here, right? So the modifier has to be placed somewhere near the noun. Jake modify korte tar ashe thakte hobe. Or else the meaning will be different, right? So how can we correct this? What do you think? What can be the sentence to correct it? Sam screamed in his underwear at the barking dog. What? Sam screamed in his underwear at the barking dog. 
So Sam, comma, in his underwear, screamed at the barking dog. Or you can say in his underwear, comma, Sam screamed at the barking dog. So no matter what, the modifier needs to be close to the thing or the person it's modifying. I'm going to misplace the meaning to change. If you look at the sentence at one point, you might not think it's, it's wrong. Actually, the structure is fine, isn't it? So if, if you say Sam screamed at the walking dog in his underwear, the sentence structure is still fine. Right. But the meaning it's trying to convey is not correct. If you're not a native speaker and if you're not talking to a native speaker, you might still understand. But if you are talking with a native speaker, they will think, well, how can a dog wear something, right? So you need to actually place it correctly. Okay. Uh, I'm to sentence the key. Take Oh, this points. So that's run on, that's fragments, and that's misplaced modifier. So we did run on and we did fragment in previous classes, and we already did the exercises as well. And then now we are doing misplaced modifier. Why? Right? So you missed those classes. Acha. So let's see some of the examples. Only John carried his books to classes. John carried his answer. So if you look at these two sentences, the first one is only John carried his books to the class. And the second one says John carried his books only to the class. So do you think these two sentences are different? How? So, what's the meaning of the first one? So, it's saying that John is the only person who took the books to the classes. All the other students didn't bring the book, right? The second one, what it's trying to say, what's the meaning of the second one here? I can try to explain English. One particular class, he carried his Yeah, so there is only one particular class he carried. So all the other students also carried the books, right? So you see they are just changing one modifier, just the changing the places. It actually changed the meaning because the first it's modifying John, the second it's modifying the books, right? Or it's modifying the classes, only one classes, sorry. So here, if since it's with the John, that means he's the only person taking the books. Why we change the place? It's saying that he carried the books only to this class, right? So do you understand? If you change the place of a modifier, the sentence can be changed. The sentence will change. The meaning will change, right? Awesome. Now I will give you two examples. You, uh, I was supposed to have the PowerPoint with me, but unfortunately, I uh, need the PDF coordinate. PDF not for the TV the children. So I mean, after the mukha do the three sentence bolbo. First, you write those sentences. Therefore, you have to tell me which one is correct, which one is giving you the actual, uh, which one is giving you the actual meaning that we are trying to convey. Huh? So right, number A. Sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator, comma, <coughs> top shelf of the refrigerator, comma, Brittany saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake. Brittany saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake. Number 
আমি আবার রিপিট করছি দ্যাটস নাম্বার এ সিটিং অন দ্য টপ শেলফ অফ দ্য রেফ্রিজারেটর ব্রিটনি স হার মামস বিউটিফুল বার্থডে কেক ডান নাম্বার বি ব্রিটনি কমা সিটিং অন দ্য টপ শেলফ অফ দ্য রেফ্রিজারেটর স হার মামস বিউটিফুল বার্থডে কেক Brittany Kama, sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator, saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake. You can ask me, what do you want to see? Brittany Kama, sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator, saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake. refrigerator comma saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake done number c Brittany saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator. Brittany saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator. Birthday cake sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator. Done. Yeah. Brittany saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator. No punctuation. No comma. No comma. No comma. No full stop. So done. So as you look at these sentences, all these sentences have Similar structure, right? Similar wording. And it's very confusing though. Now, there's only one sentence that's correct. Other two are wrong. So you have to find out which one is the correct sentence. Because rest two are giving very absurd meaning. Acta is giving you the proper meaning. So which one you think the correct one and why? You think C? Yes. Rest of you? Anybody goes with A or B? Ishak, what do you think? Which one is correct? A. Antar, which one is correct? A. And Shakurika, which one is correct? <laughs> A, okay. So we have A and C, so no Bs, right. So A people, why do you think it's correct? What's the meaning of the sentence? Please, I'm going to say Bangla. Just explain the meaning to me. When I ask you the meaning, it doesn't mean I'm, I'm actually looking for a definition or a, a Bengali translation. I'm actually looking for your understanding. So if I ask you from next time, what do you understand by this? What's the meaning? You don't have to give me the translation. I'm not looking for the translation. I'm actually looking for the meaning. Exactly. Your understanding. Yes. The understanding. Okay. So why A? So as you said, A is the correct one. Okay, I'm taking A is the correct one. You have to explain me why A is the correct one. So A is saying, sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator, Brittany saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake. So the meaning is that Brittany is sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator 
and from there she's actually seeing the mom's birthday cake so is it actually feasible for somebody to actually sit on the top shelf of the refrigerator and look at something so what should be sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator refrigerator er top shelf e ki thaka uchit brichni thaka uchit na ki something else cake thaka uchit right so the first a is saying that the brittany is sitting on the top shelf because sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator is our modifier and it's actually sitting with brittany that means brittany boshe ache on the top shelf of the refrigerator and looking at the mom's beautiful birthday cake so it is not possible right so it's correct or not it's not correct it's wrong right coming to number b brittany sitting on the top shelf of the refrigerator saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake it's still the same isn't it ami kintu amar modifier ta ke to change korlam jayga jayga ta change korar pore it's still sitting with the same person isn't it so it's still the same last one e bollam brittany saw her mom's beautiful birthday cake now cake has the modifier sitting on the top shelf on the refrigerator ebong we have this tendency writing wrong modifier amra writing er shomoy onek shomoy because the structure is correct we think that it's correct even up the meaning is not that the meaning is not apni even jokhon apni upore check diben grammar check spelling check apnake eta check chole jabe je ha this is correct but this is not correct amra sob shomoy lekha shesh type kore check dei upore dei na tokhon dekha chhe yes the grammar is fine because the grammar is actually fine कम्पिटर तो एत स्मार्ट ना सो शी इज आई मिन दैट्स नट गोईंग टू टेक यर मिनिंगफुल मिसटेक्स दैट इज रंग ठीक है हमारे एक्साम से उल हाव दिस कैंड अफ सेंटेंसेस दैट वेदार इज करेक्ट और नट एंड इफ इट्स नट करेक्ट यू हाव टू फिक्स इट एन अनेक समय व्हाट आई डू आई एक्चुअली गिव यू अ करेक्ट सेंटेंस बट द स्टूडेंट्स गेट वेरी कन्फ्यूज एंड दे मेक इट अ रंग सेंटेंस सो यू हाव टू अंडारस्टैंड वेदार इट्स अ करेक्ट सेंटेंस एंड बी कन्फिडेंट एंड येस इट्स अ करेक्ट सेंटेंस इट्स फाइन यू डोट हाव टू चेन्ज इट right okay uh now i uh, will do a dangling modifier so have you ever heard of the word dangling modifier so there is another term that's called dangling modifier acha i actually have a slide for it but jeta bollam je ami pdf kora hoy nai so ei jonno ami diye dibo slide ta apnader ke So let's do a dangling modifier. So are you clear about the modifier and how it's important for your sentence? Yes. Because if you actually put in a wrong place, you have a wrong Structure sentence. Same, yes. Structure is correct. A okay. grammatically correct sentence. The construction is fine. So you might think there is nothing wrong with the okay. sentence, but then again, uh, if you do not convey the correct meaning, so the sentence correct will be wrong. मिनिंग तो ठीक हवा लगे हाँ अच्छा सो लेट्स डू डैंगलिंग मडिफायर सो व्हाट डज द वर्ड डैंगलिंग मीन डू यू अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग बाय द वर्ड डैंगलिंग सो डैंगलिंग मॉडिफायर इज when there is no there is a modifier but you can't find any word to modify so for example if i say uh while smoking a pipe my cat curled up next to me so while smoking a pipe my uh, my cat curled next to me now while smoking a pipe is our modifier right now do you think it's modifying my cat why not shagurika what do you think why do you think it's not it's modifying my cat so you know pipe right pipe to tanya ra hai so it's like another thing for vape so why do you think it's not correct or uh, why it's not actually 
uh, modifying my cat. My cat crawled. Yes, my my cat crawled up next to me. Manawa ka cheshe ka dilab tholo. But then, who is actually smoking a pipe? Yes, me. So, apni ki chai le while smoking the pipe. Tere ko thoda change kore. Can you have us stop? Yes, after uh, my cat crawled up next to me, it lasted. Okay, tell me the sentence you you are uh, you want to write. Uh, my cat crawled up. Crawled up to me, so yes. Crawled up next to me while I, I was while smoking a pipe. pipe so can you just change it here? When I put to amra agi jeta kolla, so we actually change the modifier placed. The modifier in a different place. Akhon, can you just change the place? Let's change the place. Okay, so we are saying that it's it's not modifying the cat because a cat cannot smoke, so it's modifying me, right? So if you change it, my cat curled up next to me while smoking the pipe. Hey, yeah. while smoking a pipe. Ekhane still it's not a sentence, a uh, correct sentence. Yes. While I was smoking pipe, smoking a pipe, my cat curled up to me. Excellent. So what we have to do here, since it's a dangling modifier, it it doesn't have the uh, word I directly. You have to add that, and you have to say while I was smoking a pipe, my cat curled up next to me. So do you see the difference between just misplaced modifier and dangling modifier? So when you have dangling modifier, you have to add some information. So you have to first find out to what thing or what person is modifying, and then you have to put that information here. Is that clear? Yes. So uh, let me give you an example uh, exercise. Client mukhi boli hai. Climbing a mountain, comma, a rock hit Jim's head. Hmm. Climbing a mountain, a rock hit Jim's head. Climbing a mountain. A rock hit Jim's head. Climbing a mountain, that's what you Climbing a mountain, comma, a rock hit Jim's head. So what do you think can be the correct? So is it correct or not? Not correct. Not correct yes. And does it have a modifier, misplaced modifier, or it has a dangling modifier? Dangling, right? Why? Because you cannot find where to put it, right? Now you have to add some information. So how do you fix it? Now fix it. While Jim was climbing a mountain, a rock hit his head. Anything else? Anything else? Come on, be confident. You should say, no, there's nothing else that's incorrect. So what do you think? Is there anything else or it's fine? So not confident? So it's correct. While Jim was climbing the mountain, comma, a rock hit his head. Fine. So you have to add some information, change it, so that it's structurally correct and it gives you the correct meaning as well. So is that all clear? 
So these three topic, as I mentioned, four topic we done. So that's a run on mistake. Uh, we had fragments, we have mod misplaced modifier, and we have dangling modifier, right? You will have it in your exam as well as while you're writing, you do have the tendency of making the mistake without realizing that you are actually making the mistake, right? So try to be correct there. Acha, now do you have the paper from yesterday? Do you have it with you? So we had to modify it there. I mean, to point out for Remember? So now try to fix them. Amar kache ekhon at the moment nai. Apni odi kache photo book korni ta hobe. Othoba amar office ash ta hobe. So there were two that had misplaced modifier, right? Let's fix that now. You can share with somebody. Anto, can you share with him? Apni, you look again. Why don't you look at them and find out which one is on? Apni, take your volume and come to the next one. So it's a mixed up of run on fragments and modifier. We had two. I only did not visit my cousin. Yes. So Excellent. So the only water misplaced chilo and it wasn't giving us a proper meaning, right? Act a bhul bhal meaning did chilo. But then you have to fix that. Uh, my only regret. I'm, I'm glad that Apni tag bore a perichin because last year eight a keo baat chilo na. Everybody got very confused with this. I kept it. I kept it. That's that's good. <laughs> and the next one. What was the next one? The student walked her dog in blue sweatpants. The student walked her dog in blue sweatpants. So uh, it seems that the dog is wearing blue sweatpants. And the Ooh. student in blue sweatpants walked her dog. Walked her dog. Excellent. Or I'm going to write the answer. What else can we write? Um, in blue sweatpants. Uh, the Comma, the yes. Make sure you use your punctuation properly. So, in blue sweatpants, comma, the student walked her, walked her dog. So, jeta ke apnar modifier ta has to be closer to the word that's modifying. Jeta ke modify kuchhe, tara se patche hoche. The blue sweatpants. Because eta amar sentence ke ki hoche si without this modifier, your sentence is still fine. The students walked her dog. It's still fine. But Amra, it, um, we are giving it a modifier so that it you can have an imagination. It, you have a clear, clear view. Exactly. Clear view. Exactly. Con student. Right? So, modifier, Amra, can you add? Kuri? Modifier, kintu, na, it's just for a shondor jawardhan. It's for the beautification of the sentence. But it still gives you some clear vision of the sentence. Right? So, a karana we use modifier. Huh? So, is that clear, everyone? Yes? So, this is um, one topic we are done. From the next classes, we will do different topic. We will do some reading practices. Take it. So, there are certain uh, rules of reading. We have scanning. We have skimming. We will focus on that. We will do some reading classes. After that, we will do some listening classes. So, we will do practice some listening. Because we need to see whether you are really good at listening. First, what would I do? I will uh, play a music and you have to write the lyric. Maybe one stanza is fine, but you have to write the lyric of the music. 
ঠিক আছে বিকজ জাস্ট লিসনিং প্র্যাকটিস ইজ ফ্রিটি বোরিং বাট ওয়েন ইউ অ্যাকচুয়ালি হ্যাভ আ মিউজিক টু লিসেন অ্যান্ড রাইট অ্যান্ড উই ইটস আ পপুলার মিউজিক অ্যাজ ওয়েল আই মিন উই ডু লিসেন টু দ্যাম এভরি নাও অ্যান্ড দেন হ্যাঁ অফকোর্স আই এম নট গোয়িং টু টেল ইউ ওয়াট সং বিকজ আই ডোন্ট ইভেন নো ওয়াট সং আই এম গোয়িং টু প্লে বাট ইয়াস আই ওয়াজ থিঙ্কিং টু ইট টুডে বাট আই ডোন্ট হ্যাভ আই ডোন্ট থিঙ্ক দে হ্যাভ আ সাউন্ড বক্স ইয়ার সো আল প্রবলি হ্যাভ টু ব্রিং মাই ওন সং box then we can actually do that ঠিক আছে so uh, i hope you guys are familiar to different songs so shobai to gaan chuni and we should know what the lyric we are actually <laughs> looking at ঠিক আছে আমাদের কি লিরিক ও জানা উচিত তাই না so খুব পপুলার কিছু গানই আমরা দেখব যে if we can হ্যাঁ it's a, it's a good it's a good actually it's a good uh, yeah apni dekhben good habit আপনি দেখবেন যে ওয়েন ইউ আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি লুকিং অ্যাট দ্য লিরিক অ্যান্ড দেন ইউ লিসেন টু দ্য সং ইউ ক্যান অ্যাকচুয়ালি আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড অল দ্য লিরিক তখন মনে হচ্ছে সব ওয়ার্ড ইজ ভেরি ক্লিয়ার ওটা ছাড়া আপনি শুনবেন নাথিং ইজ ক্লিয়ার সিন্স উই আর নট নেটিভ ইটস প্রিটি অবভিয়াস বাট আই ওয়ান্স ইউ লুক অ্যাট দ্য লিরিক ওয়ান টাইম অ্যান্ড দেন ইউ হ্যাভ দ্য ইউ লিসেন টু দ্য সং ইউ প্রবলি থিং ওয়েল হ্যাঁ দিস ইজ ওয়াট দে আর সেইং দিস ইজ ওয়াট দে আর সেইং ইটস ভেরি আই মিন ইটস ভেরি নর্মাল হ্যাঁ ইটস আ ভেরি গুড হ্যাবিট অ্যাজ ওয়েল ঠিক আছে